Okay, I had to make this illusion head for a customer the other day, and I used bezel cutter for most of it, and I thought it worked out really well, so I wanted to make a video for you guys. So I left this over here on the other side so we can watch this. First thing you're going to do is um, select your stone and job agate. Then I'm going to come over here and go to gem loader, or gems, gem loader. And I want a cushion shape. I've got keep original size turned on so that it keeps that same size gemstone that we've got with this cushion shape. Because this setting is based off a cushion shape bezel. That's what we're basically going to do. So we'll take the stone, we'll go to bezel, and I pretty much have my bezel set up the way I want. Um, I'm just going to adjust the dome. Uh, my height for the seat depth, let's just kick that up to about one millimeter. So now I can grab my bezel placement and pull this down just below the girdle of the stone. I'm going to adjust my bezel angle to about 15 degrees. And the thickness up at the top here, I got 1.3. We'll go ahead and press enter. So once I've got this cushion shape done, I can just toss that away and grab the round stone. So we're going to do three cuts with bezel cutter. So I'm going to grab it. And you can see here I did a practice run before I started with you here. So let's go with prong position equals even. The first thing we're going to do is make this little cut here. So with bezel cutter, you can rotate with the with the angle with the circle here. We can scale with the arrows, and we can move with the boxes. So I'm gonna grab Z. Yes, I'm Canadian. I say Z, not Z. Um, so let's go to up at the command line here. So Boolean's turned on. Let's click on surface. We'll click on surface there. So that cuts a little deep. So let's just try to angle it up a little bit. Oh, too much of an angle. Rotate it down a bit. And okay, so that's not wide enough. Let's just kick that out. So you can see here, you can just go back and forth, go a little deeper. Adjust the width, and I'm just going to narrow it up just a smidge more. And I'm not going to say close enough because I do not like that term or good enough. Okay, <laughs> well I'm wasting your time here. Ah, okay. Okay. We're going to leave it at that. You get the idea. So that's the first cut. We'll select the stone. We'll go to bezel cutter again. Prong position to even. This time we're going to click on the Taco Bell. One of our great instructors at Jam Vision. Well, actually had a tech support. is Kent West, and he loves Taco Bell. He's the greatest. So if you ever get to watch one of his movies off the Gem Vision forum. Do it. I'm just going to grab Y and push this in a little bit more. Let's go to Surface. Click on Surface. There we go. A little bit too wide. I'll just pull that in. And okay. There we go. We'll press Enter. That's our second cut. The third cut We'll um, go back to bezel cutter, and we're going to keep prong position at even, and we're not going to boolean just yet. Uh, we'll go back to the Taco Bell, and we want the first one here, bezel 007. Let's grab the cutter angle. There we go. Let's go where's Z. Pull it down. Uh, boolean on surface. Voila. Let's narrow that. Okay. That looks pretty good. So we'll press enter. 
Okay, so the next part of it, we're actually going to use head build to do these extra pieces here. I, well, you know what? We'll do that little cut out there. Um, I already made this curve, and uh, if you don't know how to make those curves, please contact us for a primary class. And uh, so I'm just going to extrude that. Uh, we'll go to Boolean. Select the cutter, put it in the cutter box. Select the object. Life's good. There's no naked edges. Everything's happy. Let's hit do Boolean. There you go. Awesome. Okay, so let's uh, select the stone. We'll go to Head Builder, which is over in our general section. Head Builder, there we go. Um, so we can make these pieces here first. Our, yeah, okay. So what I did um, was I chose the four prong side, top, and bottom. And then I choose, chose a square prong to make them uh, the size that I want. And then I just came here and I just made these a little shorter. doesn't really matter because uh, we're going to use gumball to adjust it anyways. So there we are with head builder. Now I'm going to ungroup them. Let's delete you guys. So now let's go to the side viewport and let's click with Gumball, which was the greatest thing that Rhino, well Rhino does a lot of good things, but this was a great one. Uh, let's go back to perspective and uh, let's go to, where am I going? Looking down, rotate, uh, F4, 45 degrees, there we go, and uh, let's go back to perspective. And so now we're going to use Gumball, and, uh, and as I said, Rhino was awesome for coming up with this in Rhino 5. So you can play around with this and scale it to whatever length that you want. That looks pretty good. And then if you want to, you could select you and go into Cutters, Quad Flip, Quad Flip, make sure you're in the right quadrant. There you go. Voila. And then the last thing we'll do is, oh, let's select these guys. I'm just going to put them in a job bag. Okay, I'll select the stone. Uh, we'll go back to head builder. See, it's going to remember these guys. So we want this orientation and we want round claws. And we'll pull this down and we'll angle it in. Okay, so what's our width like? Okay, that looks fine. I'm going to press enter. Um, well, let's go back here with head builder. I can only pull it down. Yeah, I can't pull it down any farther on here. And um, something happened with um, one of my prongs. I had a feeling that that's why I job bagged these, um, that something was going to disappear. So let's take you. You're too tall, so I'm just going to cheat with gumbo. Yes, I used the word cheat. And pull it down. Here we go. Oh, it's too far away. Can we go back to head builder? Yes, yeah, see the only thing with that. And pull it in. And again, we'll just pull it down. Oh, yeah, I gotta pull it down to here. Okay. And yeah, you know what? I gotta go. Every time I go back to Head Builder, it keeps remembering where the heck it was. So let's nudge it in a bit. 
press enter and now pull it down to where I have to be. You could even, if you wanted to, um, I could take Gumball and grab one of the boxes and hold down shift so it scales it down a bit. But There you go. Last thing I'm going to do is select the bottom of the head and go to cut to rail so that the bottom is curved. And there you go. So your mom, so if I just mom, yeah, see this last kid didn't, yeah, there's something screwy when we went and turned head builder back on. Okay, there we go. Select you. Now you'll be the mom of this guy over here. There you go. Okay, so a very quick way to make an illusion head using um, bezel cutter head builder. There you go. Your turn to try.